Hey YouTube, I want to take a quick break for a, a little message, um, kind of a, uh, a warning, if you will. If you're ever working on boat electronics, there's a few things I've noticed over the years, um, working on boats, cars, and everything. Uh, a lot of people use wire nuts on boats. That's a bad idea for so many reasons. Um, biggest issue is it exposes the ends of the copper, uh, which copper in water will oxidize. Not may, it will. Um, copper turns green and then it gets worse and then uh, it's, it's all bad. Then you pay someone, you know, like me, a lot of money to fix. Um, second thing is, uh, use a tinned copper. Uh, tinned copper is more expensive, yes, but it is tinned with a layer of usually like almost like a solder, um, just like a zinc and or not zinc, um, lead and um, uh, lead and something. It's escaping me. Basically, it's it's like solder coated on the wire, and that helps knock down a lot of uh, corrosion in uh, marine applications. It doesn't matter where the wire is, uh, in your in your gunnel, in your engine compartment, in the bilge, it doesn't matter. It's gonna get exposed to water, even if it's inside the quote-unquote cockpit area. Um, so just make sure you're using tin copper. If you see green, um, that's it, buddy. You're, you're pretty much done. Um, just make sure that you control it as much as possible. If you do have to use copper that is not tinned copper in a boat application, uh, then make sure you seal as much of it as possible with a good silicone. Uh, keep everything clean. Um, that's pretty much it. A uh, couple small things for installation purposes. Um, here we've got our boat all kind of set up. And there's my, my first mate. That's Willie. I'm Will. Hi. And that's the... Dopey uh, dog. Yeah, that's the dopey dog. Called Lilo. Yeah, name's Lilo. So anyway, you can see uh, kind of on our little pontoon boat here, uh, we've got our, our radio, fish finder, a uh, little bench seat, dogs over here somewhere. <laughs> All right. So in boat applications, please, please, please do yourself a favor. Vibration is the number one enemy for any kind of installation. So make sure you add these little cable clamps. This is gonna help you out huge because this is gonna knock down most of the vibration um, in this wire slapping around. And then up in your mount, if you have something like this where it's connected into the device, then you're gonna see that that connector is gonna break down first. Very expensive because the connector on a device is usually for, um, Sorry, I'm swatting at flies here. Uh, connectors on devices are usually soldered into the main PCB, which in turn is a throwaway unit. So something like this cheap little Garmin, um, oh, what the heck was that? Um, uh, strike four, <clears throat> this little strike four uh, fish finder, you know, been saving up. Uh, so something like that, it's a throwaway unit. It cost me 129 bucks. And the main PCB is probably a good 60% of that. So keep your, uh, keep your vibrations down. Give yourself a little bit of slack on your wires. Make sure there's just a little bit so that if you're slopping this thing around, you're not tied up against anything, okay? One exit point for wires, for me, that works out. Multiple exit points, it's actually better. Uh, and then make sure you have grommets. This is just going through carpet. Um, there's a slot in the wood. I'll explain all that probably in another video. But uh, there's nothing straining the wires right here. So all the strain is from here, which there technically, hopefully, shouldn't be any strain on the USB, auxiliary cables, any of that stuff, okay? So, uh, also, when you're using zip ties, definitely use them. Use enough of them to get the job done, but don't use them in structural ap applications. Use your, uh, use your cable clamps. They're like a buck for 10, come on. With zip ties, make sure you use the right size for the right wire. Um, definitely don't use like, you know, dinky little, what is this? Like an eighth inch zip tie for, um, Ot gauge or double ot gauge, you know, but don't use uh, you know half inch thick zip ties on little tiny 18 gauge wires either. Um, e even if it's just a test, because 
seriously zip ties you know sometimes they can be really cheap and that aught gauge will get ripped right off and inversely you know if you have a, a dinky little 16 gauge wire and a massive zip tie holding it on you could actually be damaging the wire over time so anyway uh, that's pretty much it as far as like my little public service announcement uh, coming soon I, I do hope to kind of introduce you to the boat uh, show you a little more about the electrical system I am almost ready to take it back out on the water uh, my hope is to have the electrical done all the electricals kind of wrapped up in here uh, do have some speakers kind of hiding behind the dog there uh, got a little switch panel just little things so anyway uh, hope to see you guys again soon bye